Thanks for tuning in to the Fire Weather Briefing for Thursday, July 28th. Overall, the trend is for decreasing thunderstorm coverage through Saturday. That being said, we are expecting isolated thunderstorms to form this afternoon, but these storms will be focused near the divide. The graphic above is model derived, so don't focus too much on the bullseye between Butte and Helena. The takeaway is that the divide over eastern parts of the Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest has slightly better chance for lightning than other areas. A shallow ridge will build Friday and into the weekend. Thermal belts are expected to strengthen through Sunday morning, with the maximum RH recovery forecast for Sunday morning being shown. Tans and browns in the terrain highlight poor recoveries on mid slopes and ridges. The pressure gradient will begin to tighten on Saturday as a low pressure moves east through British Columbia and Alberta. This will bring breezy conditions to the northern Rockies, with the graphics shown highlighting the current winds expected. Gusts in the 30s are likely in portions of southwest Montana and central Idaho, as shown on the right. Some instability will develop Saturday afternoon across southwest Montana, leading to chances for isolated dry thunderstorms over southwest Montana. Details are uncertain at this time, but this could be another factor that adds to fire danger. As the low pressure and trough continues east through southern Canada, Sunday's, Sunday afternoon winds will increase further over the northern Rockies. Sustained winds in the 20s and 30s with gusts in the 40s will be common in southwest Montana, especially in the terrain. Humidities will also be low, especially on Sunday as seen on the right-hand side graphic. Southwest Montana is currently the area of greatest concern as gusty winds will couple with RHs in the low teens and possibly even single digits for local areas. That being said, fires in any area will have favorable weather conditions for added growth. Looking to the week ahead, Monday will again be breezy, but less than Sunday. Models currently show an, another mostly dry front coming through on Tuesday. The exact timing and strength of this front is still in question as it has been an inconsistent feature. Nevertheless, this could be another day worth watching closely as it approaches. The Climate Prediction Center extended forecast calls for a better than normal chance of below average temperatures for northwest Montana and northern Idaho with near normal temperatures elsewhere. Drier than normal conditions are also most likely in the 6 to 10 day time frame. And that wraps up today's discussion. The next scheduled fire weather briefing is planned for Sunday, July 31st.